Computer viruses, one of the most feared things on the internet. If you're here today, or you notice that your PC has been having some strange problems, then you're probably a victim of one of these PC viruses. What's up fellow Martians? Marco the Martian here at Martian Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of almost any computer virus free and easy. If this is not your first time here, what are you doing? Press that subscribe button. I cover PC tips, tricks, and upcoming technologies that you should know about. But let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the video. But before we get into the method, a few things will have to be said first. One, this method will not reverse any damage caused by ransomware. It could remove the ransomware, but if you want to get the files that you lost back, you will have to convert to an old backup that you have that is safe and clean. Also, this method is not 100% guaranteed to get rid of all viruses. It's kind of like hand sanitizer. You know, it's 99% effective to get most viruses however there are that 0.01 percent of professional viruses that are made to get past these antivirus softwares so now that that's out of the way let's get into the program tron script now this brings us to tron script i will put a link in the description so that you are able to access this subreddit as well so what tron script does is different from most antivirus programs it not only removes malware it cleans your pc patches your PC, and prevents your computer from getting any other malware. Now here's where you can download the official link of the program. I recommend you download the official version because the other versions can be either outdated or maybe bugs included. So the official version will be your best bet. All right, so let's see this program in action. I'll do an example for you guys to see how it looks and hopefully you can try it out yourself. So let's go ahead and open it up. All righty, we're gonna click this link right here the exe wait for it to download all right once it's finished downloading we're going to go ahead and open it and you should be brought to this screen right here the command line all you got to do is just press a and enter and it's going to download a batch file basically preparing the tron script to run all right it should be in your downloads folder so let's go ahead and open that up here's your batch file right here simply right click it and run as administrator click yes Alrighty, and here it is. It's gonna get started up right here. So basically, it's gonna be deployed, getting the deep load list from GitHub, updating all the extensions and everything. It's also gonna be shutting down any theme services. And right here, basically, all this disclaimer is saying that it's not responsible for anything that happens to your PC. So all you gotta do is type in all caps, I agree. And there you go. It says the run estimate is gonna take four to six hours, but that's not necessarily true. It depends on the speed of your PC. It could take 20 to 15 minutes. It just depends. And let's run it. Boom. Alrighty. So it's basically going to stop the theme services right here. All theme services are done. It's also going to create a system restore point just in case. System restores are very important because you never know if you have a point where you need to go back and get safe files and even clean files. And it's always good to back up your PC no matter what. I've had experience in the past where I've actually have downloaded viruses and it messed my PC up very bad. But thank goodness I had actually created a story point last week and I was able to go back in time, quote unquote, and get a version of my PC that was working and clean. So make sure to always back up and restore your PCs, guys. And this will do it for you before going through the whole saw antivirus software point. And yeah. So this is stage zero. It's gonna go through by beginning, stopping any theme services, creating the pre-run store point like you just saw earlier, saving your desktop screenshots as well to make sure everything is like in order. And then it starts to launch the kill protocol, which will go through its software functions and making sure all pre-run systems are in order. So I'll come back when stage zero is done and I'll talk about stage one. See you guys soon. Perfect, now that stage zero is done, we're now on stage one. Basically what this does, it goes through any of your browsers looking for malware that may be intrusion on your system, such as Internet Explorer. It's also temp file cleanup and CC cleaner, which are common ways used to find malware on your PC. So let stage one finish up. And after that, when stage two comes about, we'll be back. See you soon. All right, cool. We're stage two, baby. Let's get it. So we're the D bloat stage. Now the script is going to now attack these malwares and look for anything on your system to remove it. As you can see, it's attempted to remove junk removal, phase two toolbars, and also Tron 
will take the most time here and as you can see right here air is about setting down our safe to ignore so if you have to go somewhere or you're just not patient enough to wait you can just shut it down and this can be all over but we're going to wait it out and i'll be back in a minute for stage three all right now we're in stage three baby we're in the disinfect stage which speaks in its for itself it's going to install malware bytes and anti-malware software and basically this program encapsulates a lot of anti-malware softwares and they go they each run individually because some antiviruses may not pick up some of the viruses that another antivirus software may pick up so they each run individually also because if they ran together you know they might see each other as threats and they might fight against each other so it's just to ensure that there's no complications so we're gonna let this run and we'll be back once stage four is started see you soon and so far we don't have any viruses detected on this antivirus software but it's going to run another one the next one that is going to run is actually the Sophos virus removal tool and it says it's slow but it's the, so far it's only been about for me eight minutes and at the beginning you guys saw has said it'll be four to six hours so that was definitely a what's the word an overestimation for sure and we're gonna let this one run as well and i'll be back after this one's done let's go stage three is done now it's time for stage four the repair so basically what this is going to do is what we talked about earlier how this patches your pc to prevent you from catching any future malware now remember this is not a hundred percent effective so there will be some malware if it's professionally made to get past certain antivirus softwares that will get through but i will guarantee you that this is 99.9 effective so it will catch most things now after this is done we'll come back for stage five which should be the final stage which is defragging now defragging is kind of not really used nowadays when it comes to these uh new state drives It's more commonly used back in the early 2000s with a hard like a very very hard disk but you can never be too safe you know so we're gonna let that finish out and then once that goes through we'll be on stage six see you soon now let's get rid of those third-party apps that tend to be installed when downloading other softwares. That's why it says enjoy your privacy here. And this is very good because we don't need those like spying beacons. And a lot of times we download games, they can install these anti-cheats that may have bloatware as well. So yeah, this is good for that. And actually right here you see it's like actually skipped the defrag of my C drive, which is a solid state hard drive. And as you can see, defragging is not really as common nowadays since, you know, that was usually more for hard disk, but we don't need to defrag. So we're on stage seven right now. We're wrapping up. And really, that's about it. I would say this took about, for me, 20 minutes. At the beginning, it was like six to four hours. But as you can see, it wasn't that long. All right, now it's installing the malware bytes that it installed earlier. And since, you know, we didn't install it personally, it's going to uninstall it for us, which is very good. I definitely appreciate the program for doing that and there we go we are complete let's go man and there we go that's it if you enjoyed the video make sure to smash that like button if you didn't enjoy the video make sure to smash that dislike button either way i appreciate you also comment down below what you want to see in the future thank you for watching i'm marco little martian here at martian tech and stay focused fellow martians peace